Hello and welcome. This is Srinidhi and you're watching Peace News International. Starting with the headlines. A conference on spiritual response to a world in crisis took place in New Delhi. Former President of India and Vice President of Argentina graced the event. President of India conferred Nari Shakti Award to Brahma Kumari Sister Shivani. The relentless service for the social welfare was recognized. This retreat was held at Om Shanti Retreat Center in Gurugram, India. BK Asha and BK Meera addressed the event. And under the topic Balance for Better, a program was conducted at Harmony House in Leicester. Prominent dignitaries expressed their views in panel discussion. Now the news in detail. The Brahma Kumaris organized a day-long international conference on spiritual response to a world in crisis, which took place at Indra Gandhi Stadium in New Delhi. Former President of India, Sri Pranam Mukherjee, and Vice President of Argentina, Gabriela Michetti, addressed the event. Delegates from about 122 countries participated in the program. <laughs> When we must turn our attention to the moral, ethical and spiritual dimensions of our life and strengthen these elements which form the foundation of truly advanced and happy society. No solo en la política, en cualquier actividad, y si todos lo somos, con la enorme cantidad de personas que creemos en Dios y que creemos que el amor es el que transforma la realidad para bien de todos, es así que la respuesta espiritual a los tiempos críticos dará el resultado que todos queremos. Many prominent personalities from all over the world, such as noted UK journalist Neville Hodkinson, Victor Purton from the Leadership Project Australia, Valentina Set from the Seychelles and senior BK members express their views on this occasion. The night is going to come to an end because when there is extreme, there is the end. And it is to be followed by the day in the natural way also. So it is time is ripe now for the transmission to take place. This is what we want to convey to all the people of the world. Human interaction is filled with light and love and divinity and peace and everything around them is also working in harmony. Outer world which we see is a result of our collective inner world. What we are all seeing out there is a result of what is happening in here. And hence this conference to look what is happening in here because if the inner world creates the outer world, how do we deeply change the inner world? Jain Guru Dr. Lokesh Muni, Dr. M. D. Thomas from Institute of Harmony Studies, National Trustee of the Lotus Temple and the Baha'i Community of India, Dr. A. K. Merchant, also shared the views. Baha'is believe world peace is not only possible but it is inevitable. Let it be this generation and we, the spiritual souls gathered here. The prolonged exposure to the stressful day-to-day -day life results in tiredness and boredom. There could be times when you wish that you could be at some exotic location and just relax and recuperate. To spend time in the serene ambience and a beautiful silence retreat program took place at Om Shanti Retreat Center in Gurugram, India, which was a great opportunity for the participants from all over the world. The sessions were addressed by B.K. Asha, the director of ORC, B.K. Mira, the director of Malaysia, and B.K. Pushpa, the director of Pandavaman Center in Delhi. This retreat, a way through which we are extending little cooperation in Baba's work, this time when the drama is almost in the last scene we need to attain our final stage which can be uh, defined as karmatit stage the event was opened with candle lighting and was concluded with blessing cards experiences were also shared by participants when i came here 
it was like really writing. <laughs> Baba just took me on a great ride of my inner journey, reminding me of who I really am. Now news from the United Kingdom. At Brahma Kumari's Harmony House in Leicester, a program under the topic Balance for Better took place. It was a combination of panel discussion, yoga dance, presentation and meditation. The prominent guests present in the event were Conservative Party candidate for the City Mayor of Leicester, Baroness Verma, Director of Belmas, Dr. Alison Tyson, Community Centre Manager Megan and the Director of Ramakumaris in London, Bika Marine. Bika Marine was interviewed by former staff reporter and presenter for BBC Radio 4, Philippa Blackham. Um, how do you feel uh, on this topic of um, women and their place in Parliament? We have had discussion over the previous 12 months, women speaking out saying that they find it actually quite a hard place to find their feet and to find their voice and not appreciating always the way in which, as a woman, they've been treated. What's your experience? And I think that if we're going to have a sea change in society, we need to have representatives that look like us, sound like us. And that's really important for me. We've had a process in Parliament in both houses because of harassment and uh, you know there's all types of harassment sexual harassment coercive harassment and just plain rudeness and we've found so many women have, have now come forward and said you know what it's happened to us sister Moyne, in, in your role in in london um where there's a lot of people coming through the center coming every day for their meditation classes and uh, activities happening where where for you personally are the kind of the pinch points in getting a balance between your own inner daily practice i think like most women and i think it came up in one of the, the programs the videos that we have we really have a, a tendency to keep giving and keep giving and keep giving <laughs> Over the years, over the decades, I've learned better how, I would say how to help, how to be an instrument to help people. Mm -hmm. um, taking what you've said that, you know, God makes us instruments, really. In Singapore, the Brahma Kumaris, together with Sri Shivan Temple, organized a program on the account of Mahashivratri. The main attraction of the exhibition was a beautifully crafted diamond lingam, which was inaugurated by the president of Sri Sivan Temple and BK members. To add a feather to the crown, the Minister for Communications and Information, S. Ishwaran, and MP Murli Pillai visited the exhibition and praised the selfless service of the organization. A three-dimensional show was the main attraction of the exhibition. The inter-religious organization Women of Faith Core Group commemorated the International Women's Day program at the Catholic Center. Brahmakumaris were also invited in the event. The program was designed to bring together women from different faiths for the purpose of teaching them. Examples of significant women with foresight, determination and courage were shared in order to uplift them in their faiths. Raj Yoga teacher BK Rima BK Sarah and three other BK sisters represented the organization. Thank you very much for watching Peace News International and have a great day ahead. Bye for now and Om Shanti.